Hello human, click that subscribe button. Harriet the Spy, this movie came out when I was around 8 years old. Time to talk about this. Harriet is a very intriguing character. She has a whole outfit that she puts on when she does her spy thing. And I like that. She is 100% dead ass about her writing and about this spy thing. She carries around her notebook all the time. She got a pencil with her. She's ready to just write some shit down. It don't matter what it is. Harriet wants to write about it. You know, what's happening when she walks down the street. The humans that she sees. What are the humans doing? What does she think they will be doing a few days from then? Like she writes everything down. Like the attention to detail that she has for everything is well beyond her years. Like I've talked to many adults that are not as aware of things as Harriet. Now technically Harriet did break some laws in this movie. But none of us thought oh she should go to jail or she should get a fine or none of that kind of stuff. It was like Harriet. You're adventurous, you're ambitious, but you got to be careful because laws are laws and humans get mad when you break the laws. Now, as I mentioned, Harriet is very adventurous and, and ambitious, right? A lot of children nowadays, they're what you would expect from children, right? Carefree, playing video games, having fun and stuff like that. Typical kids. When I was in school, and I'm pretty sure it's still the same for today's kids, that the teachers would all say the same thing. Oh, you're all special. You're all unique. And that is 100% grade A bullshit because if everyone is special and unique, then no one is because how would you know the difference? That is just some shit that they are programmed to say to make kids feel better about themselves if, and, and to make parents feel like they have the best child or the best kids in the world. It's actually counterproductive, but it's what humans think is the right thing to do. But Harriet is very unique. I have never met a child like Harriet. Not a single one. Not even close. Like, I feel like me as an individual, I'm not like a big fan of kids or nothing like that. You know, a lot of humans, they are programmed to want to have kids and things like that. Like parents, you know, or someone that wants to become a parent would be lucky to have a child like Harriet, in my opinion, because she's fucking awesome. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. This movie is better than most of the family films that you get nowadays. Stuff targeted at kids or family, because nowadays... It looks all fancy. They got these huge budgets, but there's no fucking substance. Or a person likes a single scene in a movie and they'll say it's good or it's great. They don't even understand the meaning of those words anymore. It's sad. But there is a lot of powerful life lessons in this movie about family, friends, school, social awareness, and even forgiveness. Those of you that have seen this film, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And because Harriet writes down everything in her notebook that you see on screen here, everything. When you do stuff like that, that means that humans can read it. If you write something down, if you make a post, if you make a video, it is forever. Someone is going to have that somewhere or someone is going to remember it. And back then in 96, you didn't have, you know, social media like that. That shit wasn't a thing. When I was growing up, you didn't have no social media. It was just you had a newspaper and you had humans talking about stuff. But humans don't forget. The Internet never forgets. So you have to be careful. And Harriet learned a lot of powerful lessons about, you know, writing stuff down and how it could come back to hurt you or haunt you. If individuals get a hold of it, the wrong individuals, no matter how well and good your intentions were, it could backfire on you. So this movie has a lot to say, and I feel like that's important and that's missing from a lot of movies nowadays. And humans are just so dumb and so jaded that they don't get it. Most often, the old school movies, they just they are better than the new shit.
is just the case. There was a certain type of of passion and a certain type of quality and character development that you got back then. That's rare nowadays. Just think about all the shows and movies you've seen and how many of them are fucking trash. Terrence out.